Hey groupies, welcome back to Forma Therapy. I'm the video channel producer, you can call me PD, and today we are checking out Still Love You by Yonggi and Yu Song. Yonggi is of FT Island fame, Yu Song is of recently N Flying fame. I'm a big fan of both of these people. Let's check out this music video. This is your Forma Therapy. Interesting, so we're going the more ballad route. We have two rock singers. You'd think we'd go the rock route, but I suppose this is the way Korean collaborations tend to go. Oh, but man. Hongi's voice is something different. Definitely adds more to the ballad. Interesting. Hongi has a very light, airy, almost shaky voice it's almost brittle like it's gonna break any second but Hezong's voice is a lot more smoother and a lot more stable yeah they're great contrasts of each other Hongi is a lot more desperate I can feel the emotion in his voice Ooh, the way he says no man it's so raspy Oh, this is like ballad rock. It leans more ballad than rock, but still. Ooh, that high note. Wow, this is catchy. Ballads are not usually catchy for me. I'm not actually a big fan of ballads, but this is working for me. What's with, like, the odd family portrait? We're all three of them friends? But then Hongi and her were dating, and the Hezong stole her. Or none of them are dating each other, but they're both in love with her. Or we go the gay route, where they're in love with each other, and she's the beard. Oh my god, Hezong. God, Hezong's voice is so powerful. Seriously, you can hear the desperation in Hongi's voice. Oh. Oh. Oh! He's not stopping! Holy shit! I think that was like six notes. Holy crap, he went up six octaves. Holy crap! Six octaves, that's ridiculous! What the fuck?! Wow. I thought... I love this part. This part is so good. The emotion in this song is ridiculous. <laughs> and I thought this was just gonna be some soft ballad song when this song started. Oh my god! 
I love being proven wrong. I love having misconceptions and then being thrown on my ass when they just turn it on its head. I thought this was just gonna be a ballad of rock song, uh, leaning more towards the ballad than it does the rock. And in the beginning, it was very much like that. But towards the end, the bridge, I mean, they leaned into basically how you would sing a rock song. And oh my God, you as on with that, I think it was a sextuple uh, octave high note. Like, holy crap, what? the fuck that was incredible i think one of the biggest musical feats i've heard vocally at least was iu doing the triple high notes in uh good day Jonna. i didn't think anyone could top that especially not like this i mean wow his voice is so shrill i say this about n flying every time i react to them i've only been paying attention to them for two comebacks now but they've easily become one of my favorite artists because they mix rap rock, pop. But I know that Hezong is a new addition after Produce 101. And I think Hezong was the best addition to N Flying because he adds what I think the group was missing was basically a rock vocalist. Like there are different types of vocalists, but there are people whose voices are more catered to rock. And it's people who can go do high notes, but do really shrill high notes. This is some Steven Tyler level shit, let me tell you. Like this is some, like I would love to see him cover Dream On because this, this is amazing. Now this is actually interesting because I thought Hongi dominated the song. I thought originally at first, Wow, Hongi has way more lines than Hezong. It kind of makes sense. Hongi is a senior, and I think just in general, this is a great honor for Hezong in general because Hezong is still a rookie, he's still new, and to be able to collaborate with a veteran like Hongi is kind of amazing. And, and I understood that, oh, Hongi's getting all the lines because he's the veteran, right, that makes sense. But I think they're totally on equal footing. Hezong had a couple less lines than Hongi, but he totally shined with that high note. But generally in that chorus, I love that part. I thought they paired each other really well. But generally in that chorus where uh, Hongi says this line and then Hezong follows it up, but that part was great. And I thought this was such an awesome collaboration. I mean, the music video is nothing special, you know, there's a lot left to be desired, but this looks like it's just, it's not gonna be making any money. You know, this isn't a comeback. They're not gonna be touring with this. So I can understand why the music video is more on the plain cheap side, but who cares when a song is this fantastic. Anyways, guys, what did you think of Still Love You by Yeonggi and Yu Ezong. Did you love that high note as much as I did? Let me know in the comments below. Also, thank you to our monthly groupies. We could not do this without you guys. If you want to support us, go to patreon.com slash form therapy. For as little as $2 a month, you can support us, but also get early access to reaction videos. Are you sick of waiting for videos like this? Did you know that this video has been on Patreon already for several days now? If you want to watch multiple videos, early access, go to patreon.com slash therapy and join now. However, if you can't support us monetarily, that's completely fine. Why don't you go ahead and just click like down here. It helps us out a lot. Go ahead and click subscribe up here and go ahead and watch all our other videos over here.